Live from the Dolores Winningstad Theater at the Portland Center for the Performing Arts, I'm Tess Vigland, and this is Marketplace Money. Today we're dedicating the show to kids and money. You know, a friend here in Portland told her daughter about today's topic, and she said, yay, does that mean kids get money? Yes, Andrew Jackson's for everyone. Look under your chairs. No, I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, we're on a public radio budget. But in light of what has happened over the last year, what with the federal government bailing just about everybody out, it was an expensive education for all of us. So let's talk about how we educate our kids about the joys and pitfalls of money. First up, I'd like to introduce Portland Zone, and they asked me to say it this way, Livewire Radio Sketch Comedy Troupe Faces for Radio Theater. They are the folks who dare to put tap dancing, juggling, and ballet on the radio, so we dare them to do the same thing with dollars and cents. Please welcome Courtney Hameister, Tyler Hughes, Sean McGrath, Laura Faye Smith, and Pat Janowski with their take on a recent and imagined school board meeting. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. I can't believe it. It's just terrible, terrible. All right, uh, I call this meeting of the school board officially to order. Seems we have quite a few interested parents this month, so uh, let's get to the first order of business. Yeah, first order of business is what you're teaching our kids. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah, what, what, what right do you have? Uh, okay, it seems we won't be able to avoid addressing this. Uh, Ma'am, do you want to approach the mic and tell us just what's... Uh, How dare you, sir? And, and ma'am, and, and that other ma'am, and that sir, and I'm, I'm sorry, that, that haircut confuses me, ma'am, sir. But All right, I, I, I think that about covers us. Uh, what's, what's your problem? You know what my problem is. That there are some things that simply should not be taught in our schools. They should be left for the parents to teach. That's Absolutely. right, just for uh, us. I'm, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Well, I'm not going to say it. Well, Ma'am, you're going to have to say it if we're going to resolve this. Fine. My daughter came home from school today and asked if I, or my husband, had ever had, had ever had... Spit it out, ma'am. A 401k! Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, uh... Okay? We don't discuss finances in our house. We're not that kind of family. Yeah. Last night, my son asked me about savings bonds. Oh. And? Well, they go against everything we believe. We've been a treasury bill family for generations. <laughs> Did you even consider that, you filthy... Bonder! Oh. Hey, hey, now, let, let's not resort to name-calling. My son asked if our budget had been affected by the recession. We were trying to hide that from him. What, the recession? Well, I'm not saying it hasn't been hard. Stupid internet. Yes. Hate the internet. It's terrible. Hate it. all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's all calm down and think about this for a minute. It's an ugly financial world out there, and somebody has to prepare your kids for it. Yeah, you're right. Suppose. So, so you've got to buck up and talk about the scary stuff. The budget. Saving for a rainy day. Credit. Mm -hmm. oh, Fine. Right. Yes. Okay, okay, I'll do it. But does this mean I can put off that other awkward conversation for a couple years? Absolutely not, ma'am. Dang. Meeting adjourned, and uh, can we get better security next month? Parents are scary. Yes, sir. 